now to that incredible video at the center of a multi-million dollar fraud trial. A man driving a million dollar supercar swerving into a Texas lagoon. The insurance company says he did it to collect the two million dollar policy, but ABC's John Schriffen is here with more on what is developing in the trial on this story. Good morning, John. Elizabeth, good morning. The reason why this video has more than three million hits online is because of the car, a Bugatti Veyron. It's so rare, experts say, you may never see one in your lifetime. So imagine a car enthusiast excited to capture the moment he spotted one. Well, now his amateur video is at the center of a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Lawyers say what you're about to see is either a multi-million dollar disaster or an elaborate fraud. Oh, 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 oh. A 2006 Bugatti Veyron, one of just hundreds made and worth a cool million, driving down a highway near Houston, Texas three years ago, videotaped by car enthusiasts driving nearby. That will be mine one day. Went out of nowhere. Oh, he's wrecked. Oh! But exactly what happened is now at the center of an insurance fraud case slated to begin later this month. At the time of the accident, the car's driver, Andy House, told police he dropped his phone. When he looked up, he says he saw a pelican and veered to the right straight into the saltwater marsh. It was about two and a half foot deep out there. Uh, the owner was just standing here on the side of the road. He was real calm and everything. Just three weeks before the accident, the Philadelphia Insurance Company issued a $2.2 million policy on the car. Now in court documents, it says House committed fraud. That this now infamous video shows no pelican and no attempts by House to break, saying instead he, quote, intentionally drove the Bugatti into the lagoon to destroy the car and collect insurance proceeds approximately twice the value of the vehicle. This video is exhibit A. It's the critical evidence that the insurance company is relying on to void this insurance policy. And in perhaps the most bizarre twist, Philadelphia says it has an informant who alleges House offered him cash to steal the car and then set it on fire. This morning, House is countersuing, saying the company owes him $2.2 million. House turned down requests for an interview, but in a statement to ABC News overnight, his attorney says, quote, We will not try our case in the media, but will rely on the facts and evidence admitted during the trial of the matter. Oh, he's wrecked. Oh! So what makes this car so expensive? Well, experts say it's the technology under the hood in this massive engine, which is why the insurance company was so suspicious when the driver left the engine running submerged in water. Well, according to court documents, his excuse, Elizabeth, he was being bit by mosquitoes. Come on, a pelican and then mosquito bites. That's what he says. Okay, we'll see what happens in the trial. Thank you so much, John.